Hello, genealogists. This is Craig, and this is Just Genealogy. And what we're going to talk about today is an overview of bounty land. And then I will create shorter video, well, not necessarily shorter, but videos on colonial bounty land, state bounty land during the Revolutionary War, and then federal bounty land. So a total of four videos dealing with bounty land. So now we're going to talk about colonial state and federal bounty land. So what we need to understand when we're dealing with any war is that there is the war. We have to know what war it is. We need to know what organizations pursued the war. Were they, for example, federal or were they state or were they colonial? Because those organizations are the ones that are going to be issuing the bounty land. And that, therefore, that's where the records are going to be found in the organization that's giving the land. And then what records were created. So we want to know who the person is. We want to have some knowledge of their family because many times in Bounty Land, it isn't the soldier who gets the land. It's somebody else in the family. It's an heir generally, or even could be a wife who gets the land. We also want to know about the service because the service determines whether they would get the land or not. You want to know what manuscript records you want to deal with and then what colonial state and federal land record systems that you're going to be dealing with. And then most importantly, you want to know what maps are available because, you know, being able to put people on the ground makes a difference. A lot of times in bounty land research, you'll find that the land was assigned and your ancestor never moved to the land, but they created, they created the opportunity to get the land and they would assign it to somebody else usually for a few dollars. So there is a finding aid that is downloadable from archives.gov. That's uh, National Archives and Records Administration General Information Leaflet number 67 called Research in the Land Entry Files of the General Land Office. I would recommend that you go to archives.gov and download a copy of it because you will find that it is very helpful in your research. Probably the go-to book for state bounty land awards is Lloyd Buckstruck's Revolutionary War Bounty Land Grants awarded by state governments. So we're going to talk about the colonial, the state, and the federal governments. This is the most comprehensive look at military bounty land that you will ever find. It gives me a headache. It is so intense in, in dealing with bounty land. And I... If she missed something, I don't know what it is. And then there is a four federal land series by Clifford Neal Smith that we will also talk about. So these are the basic resources for military bounty land. Now, also there's Hone's book on land and property research in the US, but it focuses on all land, not just military bounty land. So this has been Just Genealogy and we've been discussing bounty land and overview anyway. And tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to put together the colonial side, if I can find time. And then we'll work from there through colonial, state, and federal bounty land. Have a good one. Bye.